Good morning. Hello. Are you enjoying the morning sun? So welcome and good morning to another vlog from this glorious morning here in Ulantan Tambo where the sun is shining and just around us are the mighty mountains. I'm already out of breath. <laughs> I didn't even move at all. And there is a, a high mountain, 6,500 meters with some snow on top. And our guide is already waiting at the lobby for us. We're going to the Gran Salinas today and then two more Inca ruins. And we are super lucky with the weather again. Look at this blue sky, just amazing. And look how stupid my hair is. I got another haircut here. I think maybe I should be less courageous because one thing they definitely cannot do here, or at least I haven't found one, is haircut, doing haircuts. So let's go on the road and explore more of beautiful Peru. So here you can see Peruvians having breakfast and actually what they're having is uh, condensed milk, some sugar or some fruits and a quinoa drink which comes out of this big container and they're just having a tea on the street on their way to work. The dog is also happy waiting here and she's making very good business so this must be a good place to have breakfast. Yeah. Yeah. Here's our guide Andy. So let's go to the Inca ruins. entrance of the temple area of the Olantambayo Olantai Tambo village and here you can see we are above the terraces area three stones in, in the rock and the middle one when you go a little bit down there's a carving like a triangle on the lower part and on the 21st of June when the sun is totally above it the shadow of the rock will hit the carving below so this is an Inca calendar which is indicating it's 21st of June 12 o'clock so if you want to have a really fancy place to sleep overnight, then you have to climb up this mountain here, like these people are doing over there. <laughs> And when you reach the middle platform, you have to climb up even further and then you reach the Sky Lodge up there. So we left Ollantay Tambo and we are on the way to Moray. We drove with the car all the way up to the mountain and we have just arrived to discover this place. And here we are at 3,400 meters above sea level and find in the middle of the mountains this amazing ruin. So this site of Moray was used by the Incas as a laboratory for plants. So they have several of these circles here at a very high altitude 
and they planted the plants in the middle and they gradually moved them to the next level to adapt them to the height. So this was one of the laboratories, Machu Picchu was one also, which is much lower than this. So as soon as the plants got adapted to the altitude in Machu Picchu, they moved them up to the next place in the Sacred Valley, to Ollantay Tambo, to Pisac, and then this seems to have been the last spot at the highest level where they moved the plants. And gradually the plants got adapted and they could be then spread on that altitude to produce crop. So this place is also a place where people from Europe and the US they come to worship and they make their ceremonies and uh, to honor Pachamama which is Mother Earth and they even leave little offerings here somebody has left some nuts here to Pachamama and uh, they were asked then why do they come here and do their ceremony and they said this mountain is still alive it's still full of energy some mountains in the north of America or Europe they're supposed to be sleeping so they don't have much vitality in them but this place according to the worshippers is still alive and now at the, you cannot even go in the middle anymore since three years in the middle of the circle you're not allowed to go because you can imagine what kind of ceremonies were conducted here and the platform between those two circular constructions is a worshipping place of the Incas like all the worshipping places it's circular here you can see the explanation of the circuit of Moray different names of these circles Intiwatana, Simamuyu and so on this place is really really amazing and with this weather it's really really great so we are at 3400 meters 300 500 meters it's just the information and now we're going to leave this place and move on to the next one this is our next destination this is the bottom of an ancient ocean that was in the middle of the Andes like a few hundred thousand years ago, maybe a few million years ago. So here you can see the spring coming out of the mountain. This is the salt spring that brings the water all through this canyon, all the way there where it's put into basins. So you can see the basins and the hundreds of people watching the basins. And the water contains 3.3% salt. see the locals working the salt they are scratching it from the surface and making little little mountains of salt of different quality white brown pink so it's hard work on this this environment and they can only use this during the the after the rainy season so it's about from may till november when it's not raining, because when it rains there's too much water. And the one little spring that you saw earlier is feeding all these basins. We are back in Ollantay Tambo and we are going to catch the train here to Aguas Calientes which is at the foot of Machu Picchu and we're going to stay there one night and after tomorrow very early we're going to take the bus to Machu Picchu Look at those palm trees!
are just back from dinner. We went to a little restaurant called Treehouse, which we can really recommend. I had a local trout and Marty had a mushroom risotto, which was very yummy. And now we just jump into our bed because it's already, it's not already, it's uh, 9.30, but we have to get up very early tomorrow at four o'clock to go up to Machu Picchu, yeah. So thank you very much for watching this vlog today from another very interesting day in Peru with all these Inca ruins. It was a very impressive day again. And thank you for following us. Have a good time wherever you are. Good night.